This is absolutely manic. It's my worst nightmare. Yeah, we've just got to get there while we've still got a little bit of blue left in the sky. And there is one big, big boat down there. Look at this thing. Wow. So hello and welcome to another day in uh, Dublin. You thought I was going to say paradise, didn't you? Look at this. Guinness. We are here at the Guinness storehouse and I think it's the distillery and all the Guinness's finalia or panalia. And look at all this tram lines. We've got these little cart lines or train lines or whatever they are. They must be something to do. Well, they're obviously something to do with the distillery. There's some that go down. They go down here and through the gate and they actually go down there and through the window, which is a bit strange. But we've been standing here now for about 20 minutes trying to get an actual clear shot of that gate uh, with the big Guinness sign on it and getting these lines and the cobbles in it. And did we get one? Well, she did. <laughs> yep. Uh, there's one on her phone with actually clear shot with no people in it or anything. But when the actual people disappeared just now, a bus pulled up and stopped right in front of it. Just typical. You can actually wait for hours. But what I'm doing is I'm taking lots of single shot and then I'm going to clone out the paper. So just where the people are, make sure the people move across the image, clone out the space with the bits next to it. And that's the way to do it. Without a tripod, you just got to hold it still, line all the images up in Photoshop. But yeah, there is so many people taking a picture. It's exactly what we're going to do in a moment. But this is the start of part two. If you haven't seen part one, check that out. We did a walk around the town this morning and this afternoon we're going to do the distillery we're going to head down to temple bar yeah i'm going to try and get a pint of guinness and give it a bit of a taster i think we need to start a pint of guinness from there or, or from there wherever it is i'm going to get one because i'm not a guinness drinker i'm not a drinker at all but apparently it tastes different than anywhere in the world is in this location so we'll give it a go mm -hmm. and we're heading up the river but yeah. that might be part three and whether we get that's three, that be exciting. Be, yeah, it? later on this lights, evening, hopefully, reflections. lights and reflections. We saw them coming Perfect. in last night, didn't yeah. we? It looks amazing. So, yeah, we're going to check that out later mm. on. So, let's try and get a shot of this. And look, it's empty. And I need to get the camera on the go. There's nearly no people. and then suddenly 10,000 people turned up. So I don't know whether I managed to get a shot or not. I was trying to get a bit clever and use the rails and I used the cobbles and stuff, but I don't know, I don't know. Just trying to squeeze one in between the phone, the Osmo, the video, and very hard. That's the problem with popular places though. So, oh, so many people, like I say, use that tip of taking lots of shots in one position and then just clone them out. Right, the storehouse is just around this corner. Not suggesting that this is a very popular place or not, but look at all these coaches behind me. There's about eight coaches parked up here, so there's absolutely no chance of actually doing anything photography-wise. But we've got to do it anyway, because we're in Dublin. We've got to come and visit this place, because I think that is, this is what it's all about, Guinness. Bit of a bit of a fail. Um, failure, not fail. Yeah, failure, not a fail. Um, we can't actually get in. Today's tickets are all sold out. Miss Marta's got something planned for me for tomorrow, so we can't do tomorrow. But yeah, that's where it's all done. That's where it's all made. All the machinery and everything's down there. We're going to wander around now, see if we can get a couple of shots of something else. Uh, it's a big, big building. We've got a big viewing tower by the looks of it up on the top there as well. well is that a restaurant, is it? Oh, a pint and a pint and a cookie. Unfortunately, we're not going in there to taste an actual proper brewed Guinness. Temper but bar. the temper bar, we can always get one there. Um, but I have been told it's not the same from there to down there. I don't know. You tell me. If you've been here, is it? I wouldn't know. Anyway, let's plod on. So you can see by all these barrels and stuff like that, we're still in and around the actual Guinness brewery. And we've just come around the back way, all the way around the back end, talking to the security guard. And he was saying, you can come in here. It's open to the public. And there's a bar upstairs. And there's a bar that actually serves the Guinness that's made directly in the factory that is linked to it. So we are going upstairs and I am going to have a Guinness. Whether I have a full pint or a small one, I don't know. Yeah, I'll get it done. It's half past two, why not? Are you ready for this? No. <laughs> <laughs> right, hopefully you can hear us over the top of this music. There is some music going on in the background and uh, yeah, this is it. This is the original nectar, I suppose. Before, mm. before, how you should drink it. You've got to drink it through the froth and you got a zero. <laughs> Don't tell anyone she's got a zero. That's not bad. And for me, that's not a drinker. That's not bad. And apparently you need to get it to, with the first sip, you need to get it to drink. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, that was an interesting uh, little pit stop, wasn't it? Managed to get myself that pint of Guinness down me. I did, and I'm going to be honest with you, I did feel my face going a little bit numb, and I felt myself a little bit wobbly. <laughs> I don't drink, not really at not. all. And I sort of virtually downed it, didn't I, in a couple of minutes. And then I had to finish off, finish off half pint zero as well. But yeah, that's all right. <laughs> keep it quiet. I'll keep it quiet. No, it wasn't half pint zero. Um, we're heading back now into the city. We're going to go down underneath the Dublin, 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 Dublin era. I can't remember what it's yeah, called, Dublin era, on, on. under the arch, and then we're going to make our way down to the riverside. Hopefully it's going to become some more bridges and things like that then. Fill our boots with some photography, but first of all, I need to sit down and get some food inside me. What a half pint. <laughs> have made it down to the riverside. This is where all the action was going on last night. Uh, when we came through on our coat, uh, it was hustling and bustling. It was really busy. Uh, and where I'm, where I'm planning to be this evening uh, for sunset, all that that's going on in the evening, that's where I'm planning to be. Uh, I've got a little mini tripod with me, so we should be able to fill our boots with a few long exposures and some pretty lights. There's lots of bridges along here, but the first interesting one where we might be able to get a bit of a snapshot and uh, start to get the feel of uh, photography. Just had ourselves a quick spot of lunch, try and soak up a bit of this Guinness. <laughs> uh, we're now heading to the Temple Bar, uh, which is another famous place in Dublin. So we're going to get a picture of the outside of the building, probably, just to say we've been here. Uh, and then we're going to carry on looking for bridges, but we can't pass the bar without getting a shot of it first. Like I said, we're outside the Temple Bar at the moment, and uh, this is the place to be in Dublin. This is absolutely manic. My worst nightmare. I absolutely hate pubs and clubs and things like that. I'm going to walk you through. Just look how manic this place is. And yeah, probably copyright on the music as well. So let's go. <laughs> Wish me luck. I'm going to hate this every moment of it. So there you go, totally, absolutely nothing to do with landscape or photography whatsoever, but an experience nevertheless. That was manic. And like I say, that is actually one of my absolute worst nightmares, to be stuck in an overcrowded pub with lots of people drinking. Oh, heaven forbid. Right, I need to find somewhere where I can just chill and get a photograph or two done. So, yep, I can walk all the way through the pubs and not be interested in any of it, but as soon as I get to an Irish sweet shop, Irish fudge. And they're not that just Irish, it's Irish coffee fudge. Oh, yummy. So we've come down this little back alleyway and there's lots of graffiti and artwork and there's stuff all over the walls. And it's all to do with artists, is it? Well, yeah, literature. Music, literature. Really music, Movie. movies, all sorts of stuff, mm. which is really wasted on me. Are you the sort of person a bit like me? Because I'm dyslexic, I don't do reading, I don't do writing, absorbing knowledge is really a difficult thing for me to do. I'm very attracted to colours and images and photographs and pretty patterns and stuff like that, but I do miss out on all the stuff that's really important, like taking in all the wording and the right, knowing all the history and knowledge and stuff, or do you just soak it up like a sponge? I miss out a lot because of that. Back on the riverside, and I'm just about to get you across the road because I want to show you this bridge. And this is one of the bridges I'm going to come back to this evening. Saw it last night when we came through on the coach. This may end up in part three, so if it is, you'll have to like and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification, you'll see the videos coming up. But this is going to look absolutely stunning later on once it gets dark. Now, it doesn't get dark till about nine, half nine this evening, but I definitely want to come down and have a, have a shot at it because I think that is going to look really good. Uh, last night, we saw the reflections and everything as we came past in the coach. There's another bridge further along as well, I'm going to walk that way in a minute, but 100% this has got to be shot in the evening. And it's going to be so busy down here. I'm 
not going to say welcome. We're back on, we're back with you. We've been wandering around the street, well, since I last spoke to you, probably a couple of three hours. It's now quarter to 10 at night and it is still daylight. I'm hoping it's going to go darker so I can get some reflections to show you pretty lights on the river and to try and get some of these pictures that I actually want to get of the bridges. But it's still daylight at quarter to 10 at night. Whose idea is it to come on holiday when the summer solstice was two days ago? See, we just had some pizza. I didn't film it. Didn't even get the camera out because yeah, I wasn't going to bother. So I've had a cup of, I've had, no, I haven't had a cup of coffee. You've had a cup of a coffee. You've had espresso. I've had Coca-Cola. We both had pizza. So now we're just walking back to the river. The lights are coming on so bear with me and I'll, I'll try and get at least one decent photograph from today. We've done 28 and a half thousand steps since this morning. That was in part one of the video. This is actually part two so bear with a minute. Bear with. I've got to say we just got to the riverside and there is one big big boat down here. Look at this thing. Wow. There's a few billion quid if you ask me. Right, the lights are coming on, so I'm going to start taking pictures. I've got lights. I've still got some colour in the sky, so I'll, let's see if the lights work with the illumination on the bridge. And at least we can wait for it to go dark, and then we've got a good few kilometres to get back. So we're going to make our way along the river, take some more pictures of the pretty lights, and uh, yeah, oh, weary legs now, weary legs. actually walk back to the quay now back to where we were when I was taking some pretty pictures of the angles and shapes and stuff out of the theatre I did actually get a few pictures while we were walking around this afternoon uh, I'll put them up on the screen now while I'm talking just nip back up here away from that big boat just to get a few pictures of these pretty red lights that we noticed that they just switched on it's not quite dark enough in the sky but you are getting this really really nice calm reflection you always do when the sun just about dips down to get this shot but I've got to take a bit of a a bit of a punt on this one because I need to be up high and I've got to try and wedge my tripod between the railings without letting it fall in the river because I will be very upset if it goes in but this is the one shot that I saw that I want but I'm partially disappointed because it's not blue <laughs> last night this was shining blue and it's a way better image when it's shining blue still got light in the sky which is giving me sky texture the light on the bridge and the bridge reminds me of the the Guinness symbol, which is obviously what it was modelled on, the harp. And then you've got this fantastic building in the background casting this, well, a red glow. So I'm just really curiously balancing and we've even got a reflection, which is pretty cool. I think that, I think that's the one image from here that we could possibly get that tells me it's Dublin because that is awesome. Very pleased with that. The only thing I'm fighting with is I'm on a very lightweight tripod, purely because it's the only one we could get in our carry-on. We didn't have a proper hand luggage, we just had one literally a bag, our handbag. So I picked the smallest tripod I thought would work. But yeah, have a look at this on the back of the screen, it's wicked. <laughs> making a right dash down the side of the river. There's lots of little light things and light patterns going on all the way along here. We're gonna try not to take too much time uh, because the other bridge is probably about two kilometers, maybe three along this river. And it's the other one that's gonna be lit up in a, a white color and it's gonna look stunning. Um, but yeah, we've just gotta get there while we've still got a little bit of blue left in the sky before it turns to jet black. You know, night pictures, they never look good when they're jet black, but yeah, I think I was quite pleased with those couple of shots on that bridge. It looks amazing. Actually, the colors down it, we're not gonna make it. Oh, there's the old one. Well, it's starting to get very busy now. We're going towards the really popular part. There's some cracking buildings along this river uh, with lots of really pretty lights, but we are definitely losing the light sky. It's getting darker and darker, so it's starting to lose its edge. Uh, yeah, it's still losing its edge, but it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. This building in front of us is pretty epic. I, think I might just have to get another one of this square on. Would 
you absolutely Adam and Eve it. We're just getting down towards the bridge, hoping to get a shot. And it's just started raining. Yeah, raining. Absolutely no fun whatsoever. Miss Marta's got my waterproof on because she's got my down jacket on as well. And I didn't want my down jacket, so I'll give her my waterproof to keep that dry. And I've just got my t-shirt on, which I'm not too worried about. If it get wet, I get wet. I've got a clean one whack at the hotel or the, the room. <laughs> But yeah, no, not much fun. Hopefully it'll just lay off enough for me to get this last photograph because the bridge is just coming up in front of me. And I just want this one to finish off the day and finish off the video. Well, I think I managed to pull off the shot just about. It did actually stop raining for a few seconds. Um, I haven't made, sorry. And uh, yeah, I managed to pull it off. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna walk over the other side see if it's any different shooting back the other direction now that the rain has actually laid off. And we're actually on the bridge at the moment. Mind these steps. Uh, yeah, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna say good night and say goodbye. The problem with shooting this side, I've just noticed it's a really bright, bright light, but I'm gonna give it a go, give it one shot, see if it works. We've done 21 kilometres? Yeah. Right, so we're definitely going now. We need to get back to our accommodation. We need to get into bed. It is quarter to 12? Quarter past, quarter past 11. It's quarter past 11. I've done 32,000 steps and we're done. <laughs> I think we're really, really done. Yeah, it's been fun, but different. I think it was everything that I wanted to be. It's an experience. Oh, an experience, definitely, 100%. 100%. Dublin, <laughs> Dawn. <laughs> Yeah, we've got to go. Um, so yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe, give us a thumbs up and drop us a comment. What do you think of the photographs? Tell me you like that Guinness Bridge because that was the only one that I spotted that I really, really wanted and I think I got it. So uh, it was pretty good, wasn't it? Even though this is quite cool. Mm. Oh, we've got swans as well now. Look, there's swans coming underneath the bridge behind us. Right, that's it. Job done. Job done. See you next time. Ciao for now. Ciao.